Hello and welcome to 101 Ideas for Minecraft Learners. In this episode we're going to be looking at an addition and subtraction machine, and maybe you could build one yourself, and we'll also be having a quick look at a picture graph, okay, and maybe how we can incorporate picture graph into our addition or subtraction machine too. So let's go and have a look at what I'm talking about. So this is a little machine up here, and uh, we've got, it says addition and subtraction machine. So we've got a, something that says minus, take away, uh, uh, sub minus in the word, and subtraction. So that's a kind of a minus button, there's a little button there. And here we have plus, add, and then the word plus, and addition. So you kind of, uh, you can see what we're doing. And uh, let's, let's, let's break that one away. And we've got also here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've got kind of 10 units uh, up into the sky and we've, we've written them and we've also labeled them with numbers with signs as well. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to take, maybe I'd like to add three numbers into this thing. So I'm going to press the, the, the this button three times. One, two, and three. And you can see that we've actually summoned some falling sand, and that falling sand is filling up from the base below. So we can say we've got three here. Okay. Uh, now I want to take away two, so I just press this button by two. Press one and two, and you can see that, and we're left with one left. Okay. So that's quite. It's really nice and simple. Uh, let's show you where the uh, and it, it's gone into the deep dark void. But you could put uh, lava in there, uh, and anything, uh, any kind of entity put into the lava will just burn up and just uh, and go away. Uh, so that's that's a simple addition and subtraction machine, and you can have that in a world, uh, and it might help people just sort of uh, I don't know, kind of visualise some of the kind of ideas around addition and subtraction. So let's look at how we can make our own addition and subtraction machine. Most of you will kind of in instantly understand how we can kind of make the subtraction part of it. Uh, let's get some red sand and I'll just put some red sand here, here and here and then we can just press the button and you can see clearly that uh, the piston pushes the red sand out of the way into the void or into the lava um, and it just instantly gets rid of it and then all of our units, our numbers, fall down the scale and we can kind of start counting them and find out what if we've taken away one what we what have we got left that is literally taking away one of the sand blocks but it's more interesting how do we get the sand to actually fall down there in the first place how do we spawn it in well we can actually just literally uh, and originally when i did this i had a bit, i had some stairs going up there and you could literally drop it in from the top but then i thought actually minecraft has given us the opportunity uh, and the power to kind of actually summon the sand the falling sand entity so if i press this button there it is from the, from the sky i'll just do that again and you can see we're actually summoning sand from above so that's our addition our plus uh, um, side of things now I've hidden it down here but down here we've got a command block and uh, to give yourself a command block it is forward slash give whatever your name is okay and then you want to write command underscore block and that'll give ourselves a little command block Okay, and they look like this. And we can just place the command block down. And to run a command block, command blocks must have some sort of uh, information inside of them, almost like a script, almost like some sort of language uh, to initiate whatever command you want to actually run. So we're running this command here. So I'm just going to right click the command block. And we can see inside of the command block. So we've got forward slash summon falling sand, capital F, capital S. And then we've got these tildes. So we've got uh, tilde, 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 and we've got numbers after the one. Now the tildes are represent uh, in relation to the command block. You shall be, and this is x, y, and z. So you should be two in the positive x, uh, twenty up in the y, and one across in the uh, z. So let's press F3 and we can actually see our reticule and I'm using the latest snapshot. So this is really designed for Minecraft 1.8 or one of the snapshots that you'll be using. I'm using 14W27B currently, uh, but uh, I think it's even got up to 14W30B at the moment. Uh, so this re really, this tutorial is really designed for uh, to be future proof. Um, so just be aware of that. 
Uh, so what we've got here, we, we can see our reticle has got a red, a blue, and a green. The red is X, the green is Y, up and down, and the blue is Z, the other side of X. <laughs> okay, so here we, here we can see where we've got the X is 2, so 2 along from there, so this is 1, 2, okay. And then if we look in there again, it's uh, the Z is 1, so that's 1 back, okay. And then the Y is 20. So it's 20 from here, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and it's nice and high. Okay, so if we press this button here, it activates this block here, sending a redstone signal to the command block below, and it will run the command. Now, we've got to this bit. Now we've got some kind of a bit of code. And again, if you leave comments in the comments below, or you kind of start Googling this stuff, you can kind of start to look at this code as well. Uh, a couple of other people I would uh, suggest looking at would be someone like Dragnos. Um, or even Adrian Brightmore, or, or there's lo loads of different people who are kind of exploring the command blocks within Minecraft, and the command blocks are very, very powerful, very cool ways of kind of uh, changing the way Minecraft works, uh, changing its behavior, etc., etc. But let's just go through it so you kind of understand it. So we've got uh, open, bra open curly bracket, uh, and we've got something like tile ID capital T, and then a capital ID, and then uh, a colon, and then we've got twelve. Now that the 12 stands for sand, but there are two different types of sand, uh, just normal sand, and if we if we just got rid of the data here, it would actually just create normal sand. So let's just show you that, press done, uh, knock these out of the way, and press that, and that's just normal sand, and normal sand's okay, but I quite like the red sand. So to change the, uh, the data, the data really is the kind of um, what... Uh, what type of sand. So a lot of Minecraft blocks uh, are kind of the standard block and then you, you change the numbers for either color or shape. For example, wool has a sort of a data tile ID of so, of so and so number and then to change the color of the wool you would change its data, it's the, the extra number on the top. Uh, same with villagers, same with a lot of kind of things in Minecraft. So we're going to go this to, um, oh was it one I think, that's it. Oh I didn't put a comma in there, there we go. Okay, there you go. So there's the orange sand falling down because we changed the data to one, put a comma there, which I forgot initially, and then uh, and then time one. If you didn't put time one, of course, time is, is like it just disappears instantly. What we see is just the falling bit, but we don't get it to sustain itself within the world. So the, the time bit is really like, and, uh, and then spawn yourself right in there. You can find out more about all this stuff in the Minecraft Wiki if you're interested, or again, leave comments in, in the comments below, and I'll try and answer any questions. And even if you're interested that much, that also makes some additional uh, tutorials to kind of go through some of this kind of amazing stuff, the command uh, command line stuff. There's so much to learn um, that it's, uh, it's sometimes overwhelming. So really just start with the simple things. This is a great sort of simple start, a great introduction to Minecraft and how and how the command blocks can really work. So let's press F3 again, get rid of our, our debug screen, uh, get rid of these, there we go, so we're now back to our orange. So there you go, there's a kind of a quick uh, look at addition and subtraction. You could also, I suppose, uh, hold off on these things, you know, put something up the top, have a big kind of pile of sand that gets dropped down and you could even have pistons and stuff like that. Uh, so think about more traditional ways of doing this if you're going to be making them yourself as well. So there's lots of cool engineering things and I'm sure uh, with the young people's imagination they would come up with loads of different ways of potentially doing this. This is kind of like the simplest way of, of doing it. And over here we've got uh, something that some people might kind of find familiar, especially in primary maths as well. We've got a picture graph. So all I'm doing is I'm looking at uh, these types of flowers uh, and we've got a graph over here where we're actually using item frames and we're just putting our flowers in the item frame. So we could say, uh, well, I've got, uh, what kind of, what? so this is a poppy. So we could say we've got, uh, we've got 10 poppies. Oops. Okay. And then we might do things like, we might say, well, let's take how many poppies, you might challenge your students to this. So take take that many poppies and, uh, and then uh, let's do, take away what's the difference between the poppies and the oxide oxide daisies and so you might use the addition or subtraction machine to do kind of something like that 
So these are the kind of some of the things, some of the really easy, some simple things that you can do within Minecraft to sort of play with numbers and to have fun with them at the same time. Uh, and of course, they're kind of a creative way as well. So you can have daisies. You could also have just different blocks in there as well. So we might even have um, what kind of blocks we have. Oh well, all the walls are quite nice. So obviously. You know, we've got the red wool and the orange wool, so we could have different kind of colored walls, and they stick out quite nicely as well. So it really is up to you and your young people about how you want to kind of visualize some of the things, some of the numbers that you want to kind of uh, explore. And this is just one way of doing it. So this video is really about inspiring you to kind of make and think about your own ideas about subtraction and addition and maybe what you can do with graphs as well. I think um, I think bar graphs are obviously quite simple to do. You know, we can kind of just very simply kind of look at a bar graph like this uh, and just color it in different ways. Okay, so there we go. We've got two different sort of sets of numbers. And if you put something like this red and uh, and white behind it, then you can kind of quickly uh, add things and take things away. Sometimes that's what's been uh, that's what sometimes bothered me. So that's why I've kind of I sometimes label things, but I also kind of do this uh, uh, red and white um, kind of uh, oscillation. So you can kind of see uh, where you're where you've got to. So it's easier to count them. Okay. So I hope that's inspired you, and uh, I look forward to speaking to and uh, sharing different ideas with everybody very very shortly until then thank you and goodbye bye bye